At the Simulation Center at the University of New England, we have patient simulators that students use to practice clinical skills as well as clinical judgment. Are you having any difficulty breathing? Uh, just a little bit. If the students have a chance to practice it in a controlled setting where they can do it until they get it right or they can get feedback from their faculty, they're going to do it right when it really counts and that's when they're working with real patients. And once we get your other labs back, we'll know a little bit more. Okay. Today, one of the scenarios was that my, my patient was given morphine and she went into a respiratory arrest and we had to call the rapid response team who came in and, and helped stabilize her while I had to go out and get the, the medicine to reverse the reaction that she was having and my hands were shaking and I was sweating, but I was able to get through the experience and know that nobody was gonna die while I was trying to find my feet. We have several different settings that students can practice in, uh, including clinical settings, emergency rooms, operating rooms, patient rooms. We can set up our spaces to look like um, a therapist's office. But the other really exciting thing about our simulation technology is that it's all wireless. So much about being a nurse is being able to be cool under fire and, and to be able to, to uh, manage my stress when there's a stressful situation going on. And so being able to, to be in a situation, it, it's, a, it's a benign learning situation. It's a situation that, that um, nobody's going to get hurt if I can't manage my stress. And I'm going to be supported to be able to learn how to do that. For our students to have that opportunity to learn in that way, then it becomes part of their practice. It allows them to be change agents when they go out into their clinical practices. It's what they expect. It's not just something that we do, it's part of our practice.